Now this vessel and many others owned by the Navy set sail from Valfis Bay to Luderitz every year, every time there's a crayfish festival in Luderitz. This time around, we, the NBC crew, happened to be part of this journey. We were invited by the Namibian Navy. Another civilian that formed part of the journey was Honorable Irongo Governor Neville Andre, who also traveled ever since yesterday and arrived in Luderitz this morning. Now, it is my first time to be part of this amazing journey, but I should say it was pretty rough for me because it was the first time to travel from Valfis Bay to Swako, to, uh, pardon me, to Luderitz over um, uh, a distance of close to 580 kilometers. But um, to tell me more about the journey and what role the Namibian Navy plays in the Crayfish Festival, I'm joined by the commanding officer, Captain Navy Simon Kombada. Now, uh, exercise of, of Blue Ocean 6, which is a naval exercise that's always preceded by the Rodriguez Crayfish Festival. For us to be here uh, in a Crayfish Festival, uh, since the inception of the Ludwig Christmas Festival, they have requested the uh, Chief of Defense Force to always avail the vessel uh, since 2008, just for the colorful presence of, uh, for the colorful of event, just to, for to show the presence of the of the Navy. As we, the Navy, we are the custodian of protecting the our vast ocean, which is stretched from orange to. Kunene, Kunene, uh, Kunene River. That is basically just to show the presence of the Navy, just to grace the, the, the Griffiths Festival. You know, one thing that was so amazing to see on this journey yeah. was the way your team works together. Yeah. You work together as if you were one person, but yeah. there's a lot of you out there. Yeah. And also what was amazing to see was that uh, there the are various professions you can find within the unit. Tell us a little bit about your operations. Uh, you, you know, a, a vessel is like a, it's a, it's a, a, it's a, a confined space whereby all of us, we are expected to work together. Because, uh, you know, in the absence of war, uh, there's only one no common enemy, which can be either a flood or fire. So that's why when we are, when we are on board the vessel, we have to work together. And uh, we have uh, um, mainly two most important divisions, which is the engine. The engine, they are responsible to make sure all the machinery of the vessel, they are working. And we're also having the operation whereby they are to make sure that the vessel is being navigated safely throughout the journey. Yes. And, and the people that are on the vessel don't even all speak uh, uh, one, one language. They are different people from yes. Namibia. Yes. That is something we could learn from you as the Navy, yes. as a civilians, on how to work together as a team. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so, so here... Uh, <laughs> We work like a family, although we are from a different background, uh, uh, being uh, either you are a Bambo, you are a Kavango, you are a Herero, that's why it doesn't matter. When you are here, we are one family, and we only speak one official language, which is English. And uh, we, 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 we are doing well. We are do what, is, what, what, what is important here in the vessel is a discipline. Discipline, discipline spells harmony. If you have people who are not disciplined, there's no way you can able to, to achieve your goal. Hence, in our discipline, is really the most important thing when you're on board the vessel. I have also seen female officers being in charge. Tell yeah. us about gender equality. Yes. Uh, gender equality has been stressed uh, from the, the higher office. The same also in the Defense Force. Uh, as, you, as you have realized, the, my deputy, which is Commander Richard Cholani, is a female. And uh, I purposely yesterday, when we were leaving Office Bay, I purposely giving her the command so that she can take you from the from the jetty to toward the sea, so that you can attest that all our female also they are also capable. No, they are not just female there, but they are able to to, to take the lead. Yes. Wonderful. Any final remarks from you, Commander? Uh, my final remark would just be say uh, we we are grateful as a navy for always being here, being invited for by the Ludwig Christmas Festival, and also to, we, we are grateful that we are living by our mandate, 
as you've been donated to make sure that the, our cost is being, is being protected.